Well, how am I going to manage to explain this one? So I'm not in a habit of doing these type of tests, but I wanted to do it in this case. And I'm not planning to do A, B tests this way. It's an awful lot of work and you got to be careful on how you interpret the results. But I just finished a few minutes ago using this PN6A hooked up to a 12 amp hot rotted marquee canister body to do a whole house carpet cleaning and I ended up with 7.77 grams for 1200 square feet. So I'm a little disappointed in the performance but I know that the brush roll in this is very worn. I was looking at the pictures on eBay last night and yeah, the bristles are much shorter than what they should be. Be that as it may, um, this isn't a, a criticism of, of the Electrolux uh, per se. I wanted to go and take a really high power vacuum here and you've seen the refurbishment video, put it on the airflow box and we got 151 CFM out of that thing. So big difference compared to 91. Also, the brush roll in here, it's, it's used, it's from uh, 2013. It's got some wear on it, but you know what? Uh, I think it's still fairly viable and it hasn't been abused and the bristles are not any shorter than a new one. So be that as it may, I'm gonna do 1,000 square feet because that's all this Centria 2 can actually do. And I'm using a bag that is 13 months old. I dated this thing back in January of 2019. I've blown it out many times. It's actually fairly clean on the inside. And I'm going to do a back-to-back -back pickup test. I want to make sure we get some good numbers here for an initial bag weight. 71.2325. These bags are so big every so often, something can sag. All right. I'm coming up with 71.23. So if you go back in my whole house cleaning playlist, I'm pretty sure this Centria 2 got the best overall pickup. So if you have a scale and you want to repeat this kind of test, I'm going to give you just some general guidelines. You have to vacuum in the same manner as your other machine in the test. You also have to weigh them. Okay, you can't just say, oh, look at the blob that came out and it's in my hand. Um, I'm going to be able to only do a uh, thousand square feet with this, so it's going to be, you know, vacuuming up even less. Uh, be that as it may, let's go ahead and run it and then we'll take a look at the results. And just look, as a degreed mathematician, just grossly speaking, if this Centria 2 picks up the same or more than what this PN6A has done, in other words, let's just call it, if this one gets 8 grams or higher, it definitely means that there was a lot more stuff still left in this carpet. Now, you could probably argue uh, that a lower number would still be very significant, but I want to make sure that uh, we're, not, we're not trying to come to a conclusion that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So I'm going to say, if I see 8 grams or higher, it means that this carpet had a lot more in there to be picked up, and that the PN6A just simply couldn't get it. And some of that is going to be obviously because of the lower CFM and the heavily worn brush roll. Just finished with the Centria 2 back to back. And I can say, you know, with the tech drive with the Centria 2, guess what? Uh, didn't break a sweat. So that's just the nature of the tech drive and the power assist. Um, before I take the bag out of the Centria 2 and weigh it, I want to take a look at the brush rolls. So, here's this guy, right there, and let's take this off. That'll be a little easier to show this. <laughs> the spindle's still hot. 
Oh, let's see, how can I get this to show up well? So, <clears throat> if you take a good look, you know, I'll just bring this up closer so you can see. That'll be easier. Here, take a look at that. So, look at the hair pickup. Okay, this was done after I used the Electrolux PN6A. Look at that amount of hair. That's my wife's over two foot long hair. Now, take a look at this. Again, this is just one vacuuming session in my house. So, a lot less hair pickup. I was not expecting that. I mean, this amount of hair, okay, fine, but how come after I go over the exact same spots, well, not going underneath the bed and stuff like that, I don't think her, her hair gets underneath the bed, looks like I picked up the same and possibly more hair. So I just, I got a kick out of that. Anyway, let's take a look and see what the bag weight is. Oh, give me a second to get rearranged here. I guess I might as well put this back on. And once again, I'm going to mention, I don't have any plans to do these back-to-back -back tests on any type of regular basis. This, this might be the only time I ever do something like this, no matter what the results are, just because it's so unbelievably time-consuming. Okay, we started out at... 71.23 and we end up with 77.76 maybe okay 77.764 what where are we here Three, four, kind of like make up your mind. All right, I'll say 77.75. That'll be good enough. 77.75. Let's subtract 71.23. And we have a result that is, let's see if I can get it where it doesn't give me a lot of glare. It's very similar. Uh, to what the PN6A uh, picked up. I think it was 7.77. So this is kind of close to a 7. The other one is close to an 8. So do you know what this actually proves? By the way, uh, the first time I ran this, I got a result that was in the 6s. And I you know, went ahead and let the dirt build up again, as I mentioned uh, earlier. And I got something like say in the high sevens, but I'm doing 1200 square feet with this. This I'm just doing a thousand. So carpet fibers and everything else, this is, you know, this is doing 20% less carpet. So you know what this proves, okay? Mathematically speaking, that I have this machine and it picks up a certain amount. I have this machine and it picks up over the same square footage of carpet about the same amount. Okay, what this means is this machine is not only more powerful, it's a lot more powerful. So I'll work through some, some math here. Uh, I'll write some stuff down on a piece of paper, or maybe I could even put it in the video, and I'll show you actually how that works out. So this machine, when you compare the same amount of carpet, it's pretty much, or even if you don't, it's pretty much about the same pickup as what this is when I do one right behind the other one. So this one is still picking up or trying to pick up an awful lot more. And because I ran this one, there's less dirt for it to pick up, but it still had a relatively good pickup. I know it's a lot to take in, but um, let me get a little piece of paper out here and I'll show you what I mean. 
So I know I could do something like this uh, electronically, or maybe even use a PowerPoint. But hey, uh, Engineering Explained uses, well, a whiteboard, although this is a white piece of paper and uh, a pen, so why not? If we take a look at what the, and I'll just abbreviate here, what the Lux actually picked up was 7.7. 7 grams. Now in a previous test, same 1200 square feet, I got 6.39 grams. Okay, now the Kirby just picked up, run right after the Lux, got, yeah, I know I'm a lefty, so I'm going to kind of go over everything this way. So the Kirby, we'll just abbreviate that, got 6.52 grams. Now, we need to equalize these, equalize these two things for 1,000 square feet because this was 1,200 and this was 1,000. So 1,000 foot squared. If we do the ratio reduction, then the Lux ends up coming down to 6.48 grams. And of course, the Kirby ends up being the same at 6.52. My writing on the chalkboard was uh, better than this, but I'm not on a chalkboard right now. So these two over the same amount of carpet pick up pretty much the same amount. The difference is I didn't run this one and then wait half a week and then run this one. I ran the PN6 with the hot rotted Electrolux and then I immediately ran the Kirby Centria 2. Uh, that is not a Centria 2. That's an Avalier. My Centria 2 is back upstairs in my bedroom. I'm in the basement. I ran this immediately after running this. So this is like one of those last vacuum wins things. Only this one is actually going to have a proper analysis and it's going to be done the right way, you know, with, with real weighed results. Okay, so... Let's take a look at this a little bit differently. If I have the Lux and say I put 10 grams of dirt into anything, you know, into your carpet, whatever it is, and I go and I run it and it picks up, let's say three grams of that 10. So I have three grams of pickup. Well, guess what? That means that we have seven grams remaining. Okay, so that means that if this situation exists, that this machine right here would pick up 30%. So if I pick up three grams out of 10 and seven remain, I have a pickup of 30%. Now, let's imagine that I now go and I run the Kirby over the same carpet that I ran the Electrolux on. So, yes, I know, my, uh, my hand now covers everything up. That I'll have a bunch of stuff on my palm at some point in time. Okay, so now the Kirby, I'm not starting out with 10. I'm starting out with 7. So, 7 grams of dirt, right? Now, imagine I had the same level of pickup. See here? about the same amount. So let's say the Kirby also picks up three grams of dirt. Okay, the thing is, now what remains is four. Now, if you do the ratio of three grams versus seven, and then three grams versus 10, that was a 30% reduction in dirt. This is a 40 3% reduction in dirt. So if I get the same pickup between these two machines run one right after another, if the second machine, my challenger, my last vacuum, if that picks up the same or more, that automatically means it's a better vacuum. Now, some people go, ah, big deal, 30%, 43%. That's only a it's only a 13% difference. I mean, you know, so what? 
Well, guess what? If I start out with 10 grams and I vacuum over something, this seven grams is going to be more difficult to get to. It's going to be further down in the carpet because it's just been vacuumed and three grams has been removed from, well, the top of the carpet, so to speak. So this machine here has to work harder to pick up that three grams. What I'm saying is these two three grams are not equal. Picking up three grams here is much easier than picking up three grams here. So in reality, this result right here really should be much higher when you think about it. Even though it's only 13% here from a mathematical standpoint, from a physical standpoint, in reality, something like this is going to be a lot stronger. So that's really the point that I wanted to make. And here is a proper analysis of a last vacuum wins. And again, it doesn't make any difference which two vacuums. I could put anything here. I just pulled these two machines and put them out there. It's not a, this isn't a, a Lux versus, you know, Kirby uh, bashing um, video by any means. I, I, I like both these machines. They're very good in their own categories. But I'm just trying to say that if you run one machine right behind another and you get about the same pickup and you guys know my carpet is wickedly clean, it means that the Kirby has to work much harder to pick up the same amount of dirt, the remaining three grams or a remaining three grams. There's probably a little more in there. The bottom line is this machine ends up being, this Challenger machine ends up being a lot stronger. So to that end, uh, Mr. Thomas Rechtenwald, the owner of this PN6A, has mentioned in a post that he might want to actually give me a brand new brush roll, send it to me, and have me retest this. So if that's something he ends up wanting to do and I retest it, I imagine it's probably going to have a lot better pickup. So that's all I really wanted to say that you have to, if you do a last vacuum wins, you've got to use proper mathematical reasoning and you've also got to measure things. So thanks for watching and listening to this <laughs> almost eight minute uh, explanation of something that seems so simple. Happy vacuuming.